Hey love, so as you can see, I am taking out my hair here. I had a mini twist out in for a week and I'm just kind of taking that out. Um, and if you haven't noticed, this is a different quality camera. This is my new vlogging camera. I am really, really excited that it came in the mail because now I can vlog for you guys and I've been looking forward to doing that for a very long time because I have more time to just pick up a camera and go than to do a sit down video, especially while pregnant and I'm sure with a new baby. So I'm very excited to start vlogging for y'all. I'm just gonna bring you with me and I'm also going to finish taking down this hair and be back in about two seconds. All right, and here you are. So it's all out now. Looks a little bit crazy. It probably needs a little bit of moisture in the air to not be so stringy. But it's a really good protective style when you don't really want to be in your hair for a while. And I had them in, I had the twists in for like a week. And I'll probably be able to keep this again for like another week or two. Um, probably longer if I stretch it. So, point being is I'm here. I'm still pregnant. <laughs> so, my baby boy is so comfortable in there that he does not want to leave. I'm about four days overdue at this point so yeah as i'm sure you can imagine i am definitely getting over being pregnant it's like 93 degrees today and yeah i i could not i could not be more excited to meet him and especially to be done with being pregnant so for the first vlog i'm gonna just quickly put on some makeup so i'm gonna be hitting the beach today um, so I don't want anything too crazy, just like a really, really simple makeup. I'm using the Fenty Beauty and I really, really like it. It's really light, which some people don't like that much. So I think it really depends on what kind of skin tone you have. Like if you have oily skin or dry skin, I think it really matters. Um, and I like the fact that it's light because it feels good in the summertime too. Like if you're hot... I feel like having thick, heavy makeup on, like foundation, can be really like, it makes you hotter. But this to me feels really light. I don't know if you guys just saw how much I used, but it was basically a pump and a half and that should be enough to give me the coverage that I need for a simple, just simple coverage. Like I don't want to look made up, I just want to look alive <laughs> and like I have a little bit more energy than someone who's going on 41 weeks pregnant. Whenever I do a simple makeup look that makes me feel alive but not necessarily made up or you know doesn't take too long I literally just do foundation, eyebrows, a little bit of highlight and um, something on my eyes like either a shadow or a mascara or an eyeliner. My pencil is running out a little bit so that's why you see me like continuing to go over and over and over. I have really thin eyebrows so I need to like fill them in just a little bit. A little bit of highlight so that I look like I have the pregnancy glow that everyone talks about that I don't think I naturally have, especially not at 41 weeks pregnant. This is my simple makeup look. Now I look a little live, um, basically. A lot of people have been asking me about um, what I'm going to do for the birth, um, labor plans, birth plan, vlogging, um, what are my ideas, what are my plans. I'm overdue now by four days and I'm going to be 41 weeks on Monday um, due to like how things work out with timing with my boyfriend and him going back to work I don't want to wait as long as I could wait before being induced so um, I have loose plans to be induced Tuesday if I don't go into birth go into labor by then so that being said, aside from that, I've really been on the path to planning for and structuring my pregnancy around a natural and hands-off, um, non-intervention approach. So what does that really mean? So when people hear natural, they usually understand at least that means no epidural or pain medication. So I would like to do that. But also under the umbrella of natural is also like a hands-off non-intervention uh, approach which means that I follow I've been following midwifery care I don't see a doctor I see a midwife and I go to a birthing center not a hospital and basically they believe that things are more hands-off when it comes to pregnancy and childbirth as long as you and baby are healthy and no one has any risks for anything 
then you should be able to have a pregnancy, labor, and deliver without any hands-on approach, without the need for medications, monitoring, um, interventions like forceps or vacuums or cutting you open or anything that really isn't your body on its own pushing out a baby. So I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of reading, some really good books. I opened my eyes to a lot of the options that a mom has when it comes to pregnancy, laboring, and childbirth. A lot of the times people don't know their options and I think that that's really dangerous because if you don't know your options you might think that one way is just the way of doing it. The plan is to labor and deliver naturally and ideally a water birth. So I say that's a plan because obviously you can plan but life happens, emergencies happen, baby decides something else is the case or you when you're laboring you might feel that maybe water birth isn't what you want to do at that moment. I've never given birth before so I don't know how I'm going to feel in the moment but the loose plan is to labor naturally and to ideally give birth in the water. I really just want to go into it and hopefully be able to labor whichever way my body wants me to in that moment um, and if I'm crying out for an epidural then maybe I'll be getting one. <laughs> I felt that way as well with labor and going into labor and I did not want to be induced and I still do not want to be induced. So ideally baby boy comes before Tuesday, but he might not. And if he doesn't, then I will be induced on Tuesday. And the reason why I don't like that is because I do want to be able to follow my body's natural process into labor. But again, like I said, with the timing, it just makes sense for us to like try to get an induction date for 41 weeks. I'm really, really excited to meet him. As soon as I hold my baby in my arms, I'm sure it'll all be so worth it. And I'll probably talk about doing it again. But right now I'm like, this is wild. And I am so excited to be a regular person. Again. Hey guys, so we are at the beach. I'm here with my friend Christina. Hey. <laughs> and it is really hot, but we just decided to get out because I need to get out of the house. But it's like a Friday afternoon, so there's tons of people. Basically, it's just good to walk and feel cooler than being at home or something like that. I think the twist out is still holding up quite a bit. Maybe like 85 degrees out by the beach. But inland, it's like 93. We're not going to really set down our towels too much. We're just going to walk around, maybe rest a little bit, get our feet wet. Just a little afternoon getaway. The bump and I are off on an adventure and my feet have been left home. Just kidding. Oh, they're there. They do exist. We love it by the water, don't we? I've been taken him to the beach for a little while now when we visited California and Florida and everything is kind of a little bit of a traveling traveling baby but off we go 